The seasons are changing once again, and in Australia, it's going to be fall very soon, if not right now. So today I have a neutral spread for you guys. It has been a while since I posted a video, and I'm sorry for that. It has been quite busy lately, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the spread that I have started to use since last week, and it has worked out well for me. So it is going to be a little different from what I have shown you before, which is why I decided to go ahead and make this video for you. So here I decided to deepen the lines like I always do. And I only divide it really per day on the right side of the page. So this is divided between four sections and you'll see more of that later. But first I'm going to switch into a fine liner. I have been loving the Stadler fine liners lately. And for this one, I've divided the daily section into morning and night schedules. Well, not night schedules, more like afternoon ones. So we have priority tasks as well as schedules on the left side of the page. And now it's time to go ahead and put down our other stickers as well as some brush pens. So this is a Tombow brush pen and I highly recommend investing in these pens. They are very reliable and very good, especially for beginners. So I just wrote down my headers using the Stadler over my Tombow brush pen. And as you can see, we have four headers right here and I'm going to start the decoration with corner stickers and I'm putting them down on days with appointments so I have two appointments for this week and then I'm cutting up the circle sticker and I'm putting one on Friday and another one on Sunday just to indicate that something is going on that is continuous across different days then uh, lastly, I will put a round sticker on Sunday. Next, I'm going to be playing with the clear dot stickers from AliExpress, and I highly recommend these, although I feel like I lean towards the washi dot stickers more. And I'm putting them down on days that I have an appointment as well as something that I want to mark on Friday. And then I am layering it over the round sticker from Sterling Ink to indicate a very special day. So here we have the page complete and now I'm just going to finish it off with my habit trackers and I only have two. The first one is workout that I want to track as well as my Instagram posts. I've been very active on Instagram. It is paperjoyph as well if you'd like to go ahead and give me a follow. Now let's go ahead and put pen to paper and I'm using my favorite fountain pen for my Hobonichi Weeks which is my Koweko Sport Skyline in mint with an EF nib. First, I'm putting down my priorities followed by my schedule. So the details of that schedule. For the priority tasks, it has a checkbox just to make sure that I know if I have accomplished that task. For Tuesday and Wednesday, I don't have a specific appointment, which is why I've left that blank and just focused on priorities or priority tasks. And then on Thursday, I do have to prepare for that meeting. And I wanted to have that as my priority. So I just write down the time and then the details of that appointment. Now for significant events, I put down what it is and mark it with also another clear dot sticker. And then I write the details down on priority because we have a long weekend. I don't have any work priorities on those days, so I have left that blank. I also allocated chores on specific days with the exception of the long holiday we have, which is just going to be a running checklist because I don't want to pressure myself into doing too many things on holidays. So here I'm just finishing off my habit trackers. 
and then I'm going to fill out my running task list which is based off of the list from last week so I do curate this list somewhat at least in the very beginning and if anything comes up I'll just write it on the empty spaces for that section And this is quite a minimal spread for me, even though I am a minimalist planner. This has barely any stickers and I quite like how it looks. And this is the page complete. Now it looks a little empty, but as soon as the week starts, I'm sure I'm going to be writing a lot of things down on these empty spaces. If you'd like to see how this looks at the end of the week, make sure you are following me on my Instagram. And also thank you very much to Sterling Inc. I am part of her PR team. Make sure to visit her website and I'll see you in my next one.